Welcome back to True Host Academy. Today I'll show you how to fully customize your WHMCS client area homepage. We'll cover everything from customizing templates to CS and using hooks for dynamic content. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to design your homepage exactly how you want. Let's dive in. Step 1. Editing template files for custom layouts. Customizing the layout of your homepage by editing the template files. Go to your hosting panel or use FTP to access your WWHMCS directory. Navigate to WHMCS templates, your template folder. The main template files you'll use for homepage customization are clienterrahome.tpl. This file is the main one responsible for the client area homepage. You can modify the content, layout, and structure of what users see after logging in, such as services overview, announcements, and quick links. Homepage.tpl. If your setup includes a general homepage before login, you may use this file to customize the landing page for visitors who aren't logged in. Header.tpl. This file controls the top section of the home page and other pages, including the navigation bar, logo, login link, and any other elements in the header area. Footer.tpl The footer section across all pages, including the home page, is controlled by this file. You can add quick links, copyright text, social media icons, or contact information here. Additional template files that might also be useful for home page customization are clienterraproducts.tpazer. If your homepage includes details about products or services, this file will help you customize how these are displayed. clienterradomains.tpl This template controls the domain management section where clients can view and manage their registered domains. supporttickets.tpl Customizes how recent or active support tickets appear on the home page. Announcements.tpl If announcements are shown on the home page, this template file helps control their appearance and layout. Remember to back up the files first before editing for safe keepings. Here's how you can make changes to the layout. Open the file in a text editor, or right-click and select Edit in case of the hosting panel. Add or modify HTML to include new sections, images, or promotional banners. Step 2. Customizing styles with CSS. To style your client area and make it match your branding, we'll need to edit the CSS file. Go to WHMCS Templates, Your Template Folder, and find styles.css. This file contains all the styles for your template. You can add your custom CSS here to modify the colors, fonts, and layout of your homepage. You can also enhance the look and feel of your client area homepage by using custom CSS. WHMCS allows you to modify the design by adding custom CSS rules. You can place your custom CSS rules in the custom.css file or add inline styles within the templates. Step 3. Using hooks for dynamic content. In addition to templates and CSS, WHSMCS provides the ability to use hooks for dynamic customization. Hooks let you add or modify functionality on the client area homepage without directly editing template files. To use hooks, create a PHP file. Add your hook functions to the new PHP file and place it in the slash include slash hook slash directory. Hooks can be used to insert banners, custom messages, or additional widgets in specific parts of the home page. You can leverage different hook points to customize areas like the header, footer, or even after clients log in. For example, you could use a hook to display promotional messages based on client status or other dynamic factors. Step 4. Customizing language and text. If you need to adjust the text displayed on the client area homepage, you can do this by editing the language files in the slash lang slash directory. Each language has its own set of files, and you can update the text to suit your brand tone or language preferences. This is particularly useful for multilingual websites or for branding consistency. Step 5. Testing and clearing cache. Once you've made all these changes, you'll want to test how everything looks and functions. Visit your client area homepage to check if your changes appear as expected. If things aren't updating right away, you might need to clear the template cache. 
To do this, go to Utilities System System Cleanup and click Empty Template Cache. And there you go, your client area homepage is now customized with your branding, layout changes, and dynamic content. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WHMCS tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching True Host Academy, and I'll see you in the next one.